Hi friends, in this video let us understand three confusing terms in genomics or bioinformatics. Reading frame, open reading frame and coding sequence. Let's begin with reading frame. A reading frame is the division of a nucleotide in DNA or RNA molecule into a set of consecutive non-overlapping triplets that codes for an amino acid or stop codons. Let me make it more clear. This ATG upon transcription it becomes AUG as in RNA this time is replaced with uracil and this AUG codes for amino acid methionine which is a starting amino acid. So it's actually the codon. Suppose this is a sample sequence. How many reading frames are there for this double stranded DNA? Let us find out. So both strands are read in 5 prime 3 prime direction. So each strand has three reading frames depending on which nucleotide we chose as a starting position. So let's do it. So suppose this is plus one frame as we begin with the first nucleotide A, then this is a reading frame ATG, CAA, TGG like that. This ATG upon transcription codes for AUG. It's a starting codon and that codes for the first amino acid methionine. Similarly, this TAA upon transcription, it becomes UAA. And that's a stop codon. So this is the first frame or frame one plus one frame. The second frame is if we select use from this T, then this is a plus two frame. You can see T, G, C, A, A, T, G, G, A, like that. The reading frame has changed. So different codes, therefore different amino acids in the protein. Then the plus three frame, if we begin with the third nucleotide, you see this is a G is the third nucleotide. So then you can see starts with G, G, C, A, A, T, G, G, A, A, etc. So for a single strand, there are three reading frames. The same is the case with this complementary strand, but it should be read from 5 prime 3 prime direction. So this is the direction. So if we begin with this T, then we'll be getting this minus one frame, and that is T, T, A, T, 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 like that. Then if we begin with the second nucleotide T, then it is a minus two frame that is T A T T T T A A C like that. Then if we select the third nucleotide base that is this adenine nucleotide base, then it will be A T T T T A A C C like that. So a double stranded DNA molecule has six reading frames. So change in reading frames changes the amino acids that is coded by these codons. Typically, only one reading frame is used in translating a gene in the case of eukaryotes, and that is often the longest open reading frame. So now we need to understand what is open reading frame. An open reading frame or ORF are defined as spans of DNA sequence or stretches of DNA sequence between the start codon and stop codon. So you can see these are the stop codons UAA, UEG and UGA and this is a start codon AUG. Let me make it more clear. So this is what is actually happening. Ribosomes moves through this mRNA during translation. So this AUG, the tRNA with anticodon UAC will bind to this AUG with amino acid methionine. So this is the starting codon AUG that codes for the starting amino acid methionine in a polypeptide in the case of eukaryotes. So open reading frame is a reading frame that has the potential to be transcribed into RNA. This is the RNA and translated into a protein. So it requires a continuous sequence of DNA from start codon, then multiple of three nucleotides to a stop codon in the same reading frame. Then why this is called as open? Open refers to the fact that the road is open for ribosome to read continuously triplet after triplet until the ribosome meets this stop codon. That's why it is called as open reading frame. So the key difference between a reading frame and an open reading frame is that both involve triplet codons or nucleated sequence into triplets, but an open reading frame specifically refers to a sequence that begins with a start codon and ends with a stop codon and has the potential to be transcribed and translated into a protein. Hope you are clear. Now let us find out open reading frame 
from the previous sequence for better understanding. For that, first we need to find out the starting codon. As we know, starting codon is AUG, this ATG. Upon transcription, it becomes AUG. AUG codes for methionine, the first amino acid in a polypeptide. So, in the plus one frame, you can see this is ATG, AUG. Then, this is TAA, the stop codon. We need to find out the start codon and the stop codon in the sequences. So, in the first plus one frame, there is ATG and TAA. TAA is a stop codon. It becomes UAA. UAA does not code for any amino acid. It is a stop codon. Then, in the second frame, we need to find out this ATG. So, here it is ATG. And this is TAA. Again, a stop codon, a start codon and a stop codon. And the third plus three frame also there is ATG and TGA, UGA is a stop codon. In the case of minus one frame, there is AAT, that's a stop codon, but no start codon. In the second minus two also, there is no start codon and a stop codon. In minus three frame also, there is no start codon and stop codon. Therefore, these three sequences don't have an ORF or open reading frame. As we mentioned earlier, typically only one reading frame is used in translating a gene in the case of eukaryotes and that is often the longest open reading frame. Here the longest one is this. So these are often not considered very short sequences. Often a reading frame is composed of at least 100 amino acids or close to 300 nucleotides in eukaryotes. So this is just an example to understand how we find out open reading frame within a sequence. Now we know that in the case of eukaryotes, the gene is made up of exons and introns or in other words, it has both coding and non-coding sequences. So this is a gene in the case of eukaryotes. You can see it is made up of exons and introns. Exons are the coding sequences or expressing sequences, whereas introns are intervening or interrupting sequences or non-coding sequences. Therefore, an ORF of a DNA sequence before processing has both coding and non-coding sequences. So this is what is happening during transcription. During transcription, this pre-mRNA, there is a processing happening by means of enzyme complex spliceosome that splices out these introns and joins these exons together to form the final mRNA, processed mRNA. So here, in this processed mRNA, there is only exon or coding sequences that codes for a protein or a polypeptide. But this DNA sequence, this ORF, has both coding and non-coding sequences. So to annotate coding sequences, it's very difficult in the case of this DNA sequence in the case of eukaryotes. What we do is we use conserved splice sites to find out the coding sequence and we remove that conserved splice regions then join the sequence to find out the coding sequence in the case of DNA. But the processed mRNA has only coding sequence without exons. So this is called the coding sequence. Let's take the previous example. Here you can see this is an open reading frame, an mRNA or an RNA molecule. So this is a coding sequence. As you see, there is no non-coding sequence in this mRNA. This is a processed mRNA after mRNA processing, only exons are there and this is called coding sequence. Or coding sequence is a region of DNA or RNA where the sequence determines the sequence of amino acids in a protein. Let's make it more clear. An open reading frame is a continuous stretch of DNA codons or RNA codons that begins with a start codon and ends at a stop codon but may contain coding or non-coding sequences. Non-coding sequences does not code for amino acids. Whereas coding sequence like this is a region of DNA or RNA whose sequences determines the sequence of amino acids in a protein and does not code for introns or non-coding sequences. Hope you are clear with three major concepts in bioinformatics, reading frame, open reading frame and coding sequences. Take care. Step blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.